In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a faux marble look on a budget, especially if you're a renter or you're a homeowner and you just don't have the funds to get a marble countertop, I'm gonna show you how to do that for just about $22. So if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. My name's Melissa. Welcome or welcome back. I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, but I just bought a new home, so you guys will be getting some home renovations as well. So there's something for everybody. I do hauls, I do DIYs, and now home renos, so I would love for you to become a part of my family and to join my journey. So we just bought this house a few weeks back. My husband started in the kitchen. I was really no help, so I started in the bathrooms. I had him take off the um, mirror. I also painted both the cabinets, um, my master bathroom as well as the kids' bathroom in this gray color. I can try to find the color um, and link it in the description box for you. Um, but I might need to wait till I get over to the house. So anyway, once I had the mirror off and he painted it for me, I forgot to mention that the painters did come as well. They did an amazing job. Um, the biggest thing is prep work for this. So you want to make sure that your surface is as smooth as possible. Now, if you're a renter, obviously you cannot do this. So just put your contact paper where you can. That way when you move, you can just peel it up. But again, the biggest thing is prep. You want to make sure that this is super clean, super smooth, because if not, then your contact paper is going to have bubbles and it's not going to look nice. So this is the contact paper that I found. Now they have tons on Amazon, but this one had amazing reviews. It was only $22 a roll. It had that like gold flex in it, which I thought was really cool. It said that it was waterproof and the reviews were amazing. They said it was super thick. So that is why I went with this one. I will link it in the cards in the right hand corner. I will also link it in the description box below. I'll put it in my Amazon shop. So all my links are in one place in my link tree where you can find my Amazon shop and I have a bunch of stuff linked there. I need to add some stuff. It's been a while, but I will add this there as well as in the cards. So the first thing you're going to do after your prep is you're going to take the tape off the roll. You want to be really careful not to like cut into your roll because then you waste a piece of it. So I'm always super careful taking the tape off and then I wish that I had a sharper knife but we weren't at my regular house. We were at the new house and we don't have much here yet. So I just had to work with what I had and you want to start by unrolling it across your counter and measuring it out. Now you could go from, you know, side to side, but I found that it was just much easier to go from like the back backsplash down and then cut another piece and do the same thing because this bowl is such a tricky thing. You want to be able to work in small in as small pieces as you can so that's why i went from you know top to bottom so once you have your backing sheet pulled away from your contact paper i can't stress how important that is as well because you will rip your contact paper if you try to pull your contact paper from the backing once you lay it down and you smooth it out, you want to work in small sections. So just start with a little strip at the top, tape it down, and then pull your paper away as you're pushing down, if that makes sense, and smoothing it out. Then once you get to the bowl, you're going to cut around the bowl as you smooth it down. Now this is super tricky, especially because the paper was about half of the bowl. So I did just make a rough cut of the bowl, making it much bigger than I needed it. That way I had plenty of contact paper to work with. And um, then once I went all the way around the bowl, I just cut as I went, like I said, smoothing it out as I went. So moving on to the next side. Now this side was a little bit smaller than the other side. I don't know why they did this vanity like this. My husband and I are just finding things and we're just like, oh my goodness, this was not built correctly. 
but thankfully we're pretty handy and we can fix that. I also did want to mention that this is not going to be staying here. Um, we have butcher block left over from the kitchen, so we are going to be putting that in the bathrooms. Um, but I did just want to do this because I know not a lot of people can afford butcher block or faux marble or, you know, marble countertops or whatever the case may be. I mean, I'm super blessed that we have been saving for this for a long time, but I am aware that when you buy a house or when you rent or whatever the case may be, there are things that you don't like and you might not be able to fix it right away you know, the right way. So this is an affordable option. It's waterproof. Um, the reviews, like I said, were amazing. People were saying that it holds up really well to water. So again, that's why I went with this one. But like I said, on the other side, I just did the exact same thing. So I cut a piece and then I just very gently pulled it away from the contact paper, pushing down with a card as I went down and then just cutting around that bowl. You have to take your time, and I'm not very patient, but I did have to be like, okay, Melissa, you need a little patience for this. Um, so anyway, moving on to the next step, once I was done that next side is covering all the other pieces, which was a little bit tricky because they're all different shapes. They're all different like angles. Again, I don't know what, what this is, but, Again, we're gonna fix it so it's no big deal. So I just cut another strip to go along that top piece and down the side. Now, if I did this again, I would put that top piece on last and then put this piece on first. Um, I just think that it would have looked better, but you do what works for you. Now for this next part, I don't know if this was the best solution, but it was the best solution I could find at the time. So I just kind of eyeballed a little piece and cut it how I thought, and then held it up, cut it down to size, and then finally when it was perfect, I just attached it. Now if I was doing this permanently, I would probably seal this entire thing, just so that way none of this is going to go anywhere. You need to put a bead of caulk around your... Um, bowl obviously again if you're a renter you cannot do that um, but it's cheap enough so if it gets messed up peel it up and do it again a couple months later no big deal so last but not least for this last part i just cut a last piece making sure that it was tall enough to go around that top curve and then i just cut it down to you know fit the edge of this counter on the top and the bottom so this part is why it's really important to have a sharp utility knife because as you can see here i was having trouble this should have just cut like butter and cut really nicely when i went around that curve but again my knife was dull so if you have a sharp knife you won't have this issue but again just take your time you know, if it gets a little annoying, just walk away, come back to it. Um, like I said, it is a little bit tricky to work with, but once you get the hang of it, the outcome is amazing and it's so worth it for 20 bucks, you cannot go wrong. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this technique. Will you guys be using it? Um, are you really not a big fan of it? And let me know what you guys think of the house content. I know this is not my normal content, so. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm really excited to bring it to you. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will bring you guys an updated bathroom uh, video here soon. And I will just include like the master and the kids bathroom just because I'm not gonna bore you doing two videos on each one. Um, I don't wanna make this house content my only content. I just want it to be like an added bonus. I love my Dollar Tree DIYs, I love my DIYs, and that's never going to stop. So I hope you guys will stick around for this journey. I'm so excited to bring you along in making my house a home, and I wanted to just say that I appreciate you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You are worthy, and I love you with all my heart and soul. Don't forget to do all the youtube -y things. It really helps my channel to grow. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share it if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! 
check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right. You're so lucky.